Wow, what an hour in football. Steve Cooper is not fired. Instead, he is backed. Good morning, good evening, or good night, wherever in the world you are, whatever time of day you're watching us. Hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome to your latest update on your latest update of your Forest News. Guys, what an hour it's been from reports that were clearly stating that Cooper was going out to now the big Greek father coming out and clarifying the situation. There has been a club statement released. Let me read it out to you guys. It comes from the Greek father himself. He says, no one denies that our club is in a difficult position in the Premier League, but we wish to end the speculation and false and disruptive reporting in the media to confirm that Steve Cooper remains our manager at Nottingham Forest. We have all been disappointed with recent performances and it is very clear that a lot of the hard work, that a lot of hard work needs to be done to address this urgently. Results and performances must improve immediately. Now's the time for everyone connected to our club, from us as owners to the board, our supporters, backroom staff, coaches and players to come together and fight to secure the status in the Premier League. There can be no time for distractions, rumours and speculation. This is only time for hard work, determination, a commitment from Steve and the players to get the results we need and of course the continued magnificent support of the Nottingham Forest fans. Very interesting. Very interesting to say the least. I like how swiftly they've come out and acted. The rumours were building up. You had um, Garth, what's his name? Not Garth Crook. Alex Crook on TalkSport, the Man U fan, they're saying basically Cooper's gone. You had reports all over Twitter. You had everything pointing in that direction. And Maranakis has come out and put everything to bed. However, let's dissect some of the language that has been used. It's clear that the reports that have been saying for the last week or two that Maranakis is pissed with the performance are true. Because he's obviously, I mean, it's not, it doesn't take rocket science. The performances have been horrific. But you can see that the words he is using, disappointed with recent performances and hard work needs to go in to fix these. And no one can deny we're in a difficult position. Those kind of words show that he is frustrated. The um, the other thing you want to, I can kind of take from this, and it's interesting to see, is the language that is being used as well. It's very like cutthroat and to the point and clinical in what he's saying. This is unprecedented. You've got to say, for a manager to get the vote of confidence twice in a season, once by being given a new contract, and now with nine games to go, where you saw Leicester panicking last week and getting rid of um, Rodgers, you saw Vieira going from Palace um, a couple of days before that, you saw Harry Potter leaving Chelsea just a few days before that. I mean, they, I suppose they're in a different situation, even though they're not quite on 40 points. But who knows? As Richard subscribes. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate it, buddy. But the thing I will say is I don't know if this is indefinite. Indefinite. That's the one thing we've got to consider. If the results don't improve come Aston Villa this weekend, let's say Forest go down with another whimper. I mean, let's remember we're away from home. What really can change in a few days? That's my worry about this. What can change? And what happens if we go there and take a hiding? Who knows? But I guess that debate is for another day. How do you feel about this news? How do you feel about how the Greek father has acted? Let me know as always in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If anything else breaks, as always, we will bring it to you. Don't forget to give the video a quick like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And come on you Reds.